Yo, let's go. It's TTYD remake, y'all. Let's go. Anyways, hello. <laughs> this is um my playthrough of the TTYD remake. And uh I am so so excited to finally play this game. Um, I'm just making sure my uh, OBS works. But yeah. We are finally... It is finally here. We are finally playing TTYD Remake. I'm just so ecstatic that I don't even know what to say. I'm just so happy that my favorite game of all time has been remade. Kinda crazy. Now I am running this on the Switch 10. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago. So the fact that it's on the Switch 10, um, some things might not look as they should. And that's just because, um, Nintendo's newer hardware is a bit, uh, on the rough side, you know? Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the- uh, I can't even read it! It's, it's too fast! And... Also, I really love that they made a brand new opening cutscene. It's amazing. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I came all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Yo, let's go! Toadsworth mentioned in 2024! Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town is a very something. Missy Missy. Hey, mister. <laughs> Would you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. Yes. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one as such as me touches it. Because I'm old. Oh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever's inside. Heh heh heh, go on, take it. I suppose I could try opening it. Oh! Alright, here's the Mario Brothers house. Paracarry, my man. Paracarry! Oh yeah, so this is one thing I find kind of weird. They made a brand new song for this game. Oh no, the, the, the old music's still there, let's go! Hey bro, check it out, a letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you, how's that sound? Let's see here. Oh. Hello there, Mario. I'm now on a holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. Not Rougeport. But since it would be di too difficult for me to try to find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. 
You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogue Point. That means you must come. Peach, peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Oh, nice letter. Nice map. Look at how nice that map looks. It's amazing. Yeah! Oh, the sun! It looks beautiful. The Thousand Year Door! We're finally playing Thousand Year Door Remake! By the way, when I played this on the Switch 10, the sun glitched out, so it's actually nice to see the real sun this time. <laughs> Prologue! A rogue's welcome. They even got the 3D coin, dude! Ooh. Listen to this, like, little music box. Sounds nice. I like this music, it's pretty nice. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Also, one thing I really love is they gave all of the people, like, text box noises. It's so amazing, dude. Oh. Oh, Mario doesn't say all oh anymore. Oh, we're gonna get to hear the Rogueport theme. It's so jazzy! I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on the way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Says so. Of course, sir. Well, that's what you think, that I won't stop you. But uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ooh. Yeah! And Mario has his sounds too! Oh, it feels so nice. By the way, 360 hammer. 360 hammer, guys. I can't, I don't just swing in front of me no more. It's amazing. And, ooh, look at this menu, dude! Points that represents Mario's physical strength. They drop as he takes damage. If his HP reaches zero, the game ends. Flower points. Points used to perform moves. Badge points. Points required to wear badges. Check Mario's controls. Oh. <laughs> it just pulls up an actual pro controller. That's funny. I think this feels perfect. This is this is how I remember TTYD feeling, honestly. That feels good. Oh, it tells you your percentage of items now. Check that shit out. And you can zoom out. Oh, I'm about to nut, dude. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, and they also have an art gallery and a sound gallery, too. Those are apparently tied to star piece and shine sprite progression, which is kind of neat. Ooh, we got a little puddle here. I don't remember these being in the original. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. If you get a game over, or if you start playing again from the title screen, you continue from the last point you save. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to hit it to save. Oh, and I love that the saving is instantaneous now. You don't have to say, do you want to save? You just hit it and it saves. Oh my god, they make little bomb noises. Oi, welcome to Rogueport, mate. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of ice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing's about life. You never know when you're going to kick your bucket. Anyways, I'm going to be hitting all the NPCs because that's a funny thing. They all have unique hit sprites. 
What do you want, pal? Huh? Appearances in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway? Oh, your buddy? Or is she your girlfriend? Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, you freak. Oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. Is that what he says in the original? I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good little student and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say, you creeps. You. Oh, look at Goombella. He's angry. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Like, I know that's unchanged. <laughs> this is cool. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you can be a motor crumb, we're, oh, you were on it, dude. Oh yeah, they, they gotta have the Morty voice. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Oh yeah, all, I think all the guys get new dialogue, too. <laughs> Out of the way, you scallywag. Move, you have another bones. Blow me a fight, corking. Look at how, look how angry that bomb is. Hey, ain't no soft and fun is watching a few blokes stuke it out in broad daylight, eh? Am I right, mate? Yikes, looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? Oh, I just noticed the toad has like a scare spray. I don't think I noticed that on my first playthrough. I wouldn't mingle with other people's problems in this town even if I had extra life. Another fight? I swear you hardly get through a mooring stretch before someone throws a punch in this town. Huh, looks like another disstep among rogues. Books in this town have fused too short by half. In times of violence like these, you gotta give that same block a whack to see your progress. The thing about life is you never know when you'll see that big game over screen, you get me? Alright, let's go. Oh! Like I go anywhere, you smelly losers. Huh, <laughs> not likely. Oh, what do you think you're doing, chump? Think you can run away and screw up my plans? Okay, you know what? I guess he's British now. Oh, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little tasty old crumper bomb. Yeah! Hype. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit with your hammer. Oh, and I love that every enemy has, like, a throw hands pose. Alright, let's look at the tactics. Defend and run away. No items. Not sure how to feel about this menu being so snappy, but I'll get used to it. And look at Mario. He's he's ready. Hey yo! Oh my god. Dude, I just realized something. Does this game do the fucking thing that Origami King does? Where it has different music when you're selecting your turn? Oh my god, it does. Okay. Press A at the exact moment you stomp an enemy. Completely yeah. fucked that up. <laughs> yes, you're doing awesome. Don't get let up. Super guard, bitch. Alright. Okay, so I could have sworn that Crump had 3 HP, but no, I was just stupid. In my original play, I don't know why. I didn't think he had 5. You did it, you did it, yeah, and you got star points. Mmm. That's what these little things are, star points. The star points you get will show up there. When you get 100, you'll go up a level, don't forget that, okay? Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> okay, you got a couple of decent shots in, I'll give you that. <laughs> but unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! And look at all the sprites on screen! And they're not 120p this time! Punish him! Oh no! They can actually display all those guys in proper 1080p now. Click this way! Oh no! Yeah, what a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? And you can also like, you can kind of go in and, you know... Have a little bit of fun with that. Yeah, you could try and go down there, but it doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, and also, all the party members have back sprites now. 
Stop! All the, all the music actually stops here. That's a neat attention detail. Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Eh? Uh, oh, crud, they bolted. Yeah, I tried to make Crump British now. I don't know why. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. Let's look at those guys in the back. <laughs> They're ready. Oh! My name's Gimbella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Thumbs up! Because I can't do the Nazi salute anymore. Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, those guys are getting fucked up. Oof. Stay down, bro. The boss sends his greetings. How that rotates, punk. Look at look at sassy Goombella. Oh my god. You okay? That hurt. Those jerks. We will forget this. I love how Goombella even looks in the background. She's like, wow, these guys are like fucking up each other. And then she's just like, she's like, ah, oh, god damn it. Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't for some legendary treasure here. Oh, thumbs up again. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? See, that's one area where I feel like the original does it better. Because, like, why is Mario doing a thumbs up him explaining shit? Because in the original, him doing, like, the Nazi slew is like, Oh, hey, so you know what? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? Map. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Oh, great hoogly boogly. If it isn't Master Mario. Toadsworth, my man. It's been 50 long years since I seen you. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Hmm? Ho oh. ho. So, tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little berg? Thumbs up! Uh, ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter on a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here at Rogueport. Interesting. Ella, he did the fucking... He did the fucking looking sprite from Keel Hulky. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Uh, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh! You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here now, Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Me? I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there to a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your heart, your HP heart points running low. Heart points. Just drop on in. Oh, yes, anyway, fill up on your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town's a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Have I say, have I say. Uh, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets kidnapped by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec. This is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Mm-hmm. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, you think? And, uh, there's the second instance of the music stopping. You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Hmm. Ooh, ooh, I know Mario. Come with me. One of my professors here is reaching, researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. And also, Goombella has her own theme song now, dude. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Hey, Goombella, join your party! Goombella's ability is a primer. Also, yeah, the text box... Is I don't like what they did with the text box. It doesn't move anymore. It's just like a static image now. It's kind of lame. 
But that's, that's still my only complaint so far, really. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear over Gumbella's head. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about the person or that object. Press X to learn about a person. That's Goofy the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. I did it! Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Press X to learn about a location. This is Roadport Square. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. I did it again! Sometimes you learn some interesting tidbits. Try using her ability whenever you can. That includes this little primer. Do you think you've mastered Goombella's abilities now? Yeah. I did it! Thumbs up! Of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She can jump to attack with a head bonk, or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Wink. First off, we got a 5 way professor. Thing is, since I just got out of town, um, I don't know where he lives. His name's Professor Franklin, he looks like this. Yeah, oh, the goat. Before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. That'll be my key to sharing info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. That is one thing I really love. It's one thing I really wish is in the original, because Goombella never actually helped you on where to go. She just gave you information about the place, which is so nice. So now... Umbella has an Olivia button, which is amazing. <laughs> She's your Olivia for this game. Let's look for Professor Frankly. I know he lives somewhere in town. By the way, guys, whether you like it or not, I'm going to be tattling everybody and everything, and I'm also going to be getting, like, every little secret I can think of. By the way, hammers tell you the locations of star piece panels now, which is amazing. It's a nice little bit of dialogue, you know? Why I say dialogue? It's a nice little bit of, like... You can find panels early, which is great. <laughs> All the way, you dirty dog. Move yourself. That's a patch of a bomb. He's a real salty sailor type. Totally active guy, huh? Yeah, he looks pretty burly, too. Gotta love the strong go-getters, huh? Listen, mate, you're running all sorts of trouble if you don't keep your eyes peeled. This is Rogueport, after all. The town's rotten with crooks, thieves, and hooligans. As a bomb sailor, he does basic harbor work like loading and unloading. He's kind of gruff, but he seems to be decent. He yeah, seems to have decent advice. Pretty okay guy all around. Hey, in any case you don't know, the squares through the gate at the top of the stairs. There are shops and inn and stuff there. You gotta take a look around. That's a toad sailor who works here at Rogueport Harbor. I hear he loves his family so much that it's hard for him to go on long voyages. Bonk. Oh, me? I'm a bit down. My older brother left port just the other day. I wonder how he's doing now. I just hope he comes back in one piece. That eh, one piece. As a toad sailor, he seems pretty freaked out to be a sailor, but hey, I always hear him worrying about his brother, so maybe that's why he's so tweaked. You know, speaking of which, you don't exactly worry about Luigi much, do you? Oh, burn. I might up the game volume a little bit, by the way. Just a, just a notch. There we go. Oh, it feels so good to be playing this game, dude. Now you care, but I have all my life's dreams. Now I just stare at the sea. I walk around all alone. I wait for a ship that never returns. Life stinks, you know that? Or I guess you could say life sinks. By the sound of it, something bad happened to the sailor. Now he hates the sea. Sounds so sad. I wonder what he thinks about when he looks at the ocean. Oh yeah, we got ships from all over the blooming world coming in out of here. Well, what do you call them? Longshoremen, like. We load and unload cargo all day. That's Bomberto, a bomb sailor. He's small, but he's a super hard worker. He didn't just sail either. He loads and unloads stuff, too. Look at those muscles. The, the thought of a bomb having muscles is just kind of wild. <laughs> Look at like a Goombella waddling. Also, I love this remix of Rogue Part. It's so fucking good. I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. Look how angry this man is. Look at him. You find that jerk, give him a wall for me. That's Goom for the Goomba. He's always growling about getting ripped off. He must be easy to con, which isn't to say we should con him, of course. Yeah, you smell that? It smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. 
Looks like my star's finally starting to shine. Not that it's any your business. That guy is Mouse a Million. He sniffs out propositions that might make him loot. With his nose for opportunity, he could really do well in the street business world. But I guess no one in Rogueport is really cut out for the suit and tie life. The turf war between the Piata Syndicate and the Raw was heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. Graffiti Corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess of Rogueport. I think I'm smitten. Real Polly's best customer. Alright, let's go say hello to our girl, ST. Freeze! You two, not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens! I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? Oops. Switch. Ah! Idiot, you stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ass whack! What are you thinking? Oh, no, 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 it wasn't me! This is your fault! Now I have to buy a new contact lens! But you're gonna pay for it! Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! Me? No! Fine! If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf! I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens! No! Look, I'm not laying into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens! Sorry, but end of story! I can't cook anything without my contact lens in! Ugh! My rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it! That Zest he is super skilled Toad Chef. She's totally not angry at you or anything. With the right ingredients, she can make anything. She's like a kitchen magician. I'm like a total klutz in the kitchen, so I really respect the chef's touch. Alright, so let's get our, um, let's get the contact lens. By the way, I love that the shops have their own theme song, dude. Yeah! Hold up. Zach just sent me a message. He said he found a Power Rush Paratroopa. What the fuck? What he did? That's crazy. <laughs> welcome, yes, welcome to Toe Bros Bazaar. Hmm. <laughs> eh, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Uh, just wait a moment. <laughs> Uh, gee, fella, sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I've always wondered what the hell those guys are carrying. What is that supposed to be? Is that like a paper or something? <laughs> I can special oil one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? One thing I really love is you don't have to wait for the fuck- you, Like, the mushroom doesn't get overwritten anymore. Uh, the only downside is we've lost the ability to buy Fright Masks, which really sucks. Hey there, fellow. Welcome. Is this your first time in the shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Look at his sprite. He's so happy to explain. Customers receive one shop point for each item they purchase, up to a max of 300 points. With me so far? Save up enough shop points so you can get prizes, including some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, would you say, fella? Need me explain it again? No. No. Now, with that said, I'm gonna need 10 coins for that fire flower. I wanna buy it. You got an item. I'm gonna buy two fire flowers this time. Hey, thanks very much, fella. I'm gonna buy a sleepy sheep. I'm gonna buy a honey syrup. And I'm gonna buy a mushroom. Actually, I might buy two honey syrups now that I think about it. So when I played when I played this last night, um, the farthest I've gotten was to Rogueport Sewers, but my game wasn't loading properly, so I had to um, I had to troubleshoot it. Let's just say, which wasn't fun. So once I get to Rogueport Sewers, that's gonna be brand new for me. But all of this is I've seen already. But I'm gonna try and re replicate my reactions and give you an idea of how it went for me. So all of these are the same, I'm pretty sure. The, the shop, the shop uh, bonuses are all the same. But yeah, I literally talk to everybody, like everybody, like everybody, everything, and all of that. You look like you know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? If you press R, you can check your current HP. Can't believe you didn't know that. If you have a low HP, you ought to rest in the inn so you can recover. Use your head. 
That guy's a local Guma. He'll give you advice and stuff, so he's okay. His tips totally might come in handy, so you gotta talk to him as often as possible. And he's just got our first star piece. Yeah! We got a star piece. Also, I love the Dugans. They're so, like, expressive. <laughs> Professor Frankly. Actually, I think a guy by the name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. Is he into town from the arbor? Just take a right. So, uh, what about him? This guy steals something important for you, or what? Look at him, he's so expressive. I'm so glad that saving is faster in the remake. For all of the 30 FPS bullshit that people complain about, and honestly, yeah, I, I do admit, the game feels slow. That's a, that's a big problem. But there's a lot of areas where they speed, sped it up, by the way. You can kill the bugs now. Already a 10 out of 10 game. That guy is McGoomba. A Goomba, obviously. I think maybe he saw the lamb from somewhere. I mean, why else would he be chilling in the back alley? It's nasty here. Well, I actually don't think I tattled him, so you know what? Probably for the best. Listen, I got this huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, good one. But then the heat came down, and I ain't to hide, so I came to Rogue Putt. Heh, <laughs> now that I told ya, I'm lying low in this thieves' den. You gotta keep it a secret, okay? Heh, <laughs> I'm so sly. Look at, look at how happy he is. Yeah, the Dugans have, like, hurt sprites now. <laughs> Dang, yesterday I moved through under the coins of the parlor. You believe that? <laughs> but not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. Y'all just favor me now. Look at those wanted posters. Those have to be new. I don't remember those. It's like a chef. Or like a sheriff. Koopa. Yeah, by the way, you can interact with the environment now. Like, even if they shake a little bit, it's still a really nice little detail. Yeah, so, if you guys know already, or don't know, whether you're new or old, this is my favorite game of all time. I've played this game for the past, like, 20-something years now. I've been loving it ever since I first started. And I know literally everything about this game. Also, Flavio! Boy, I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days. I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. I love that this place has its own theme song. This is like Flavio's theme at this rate. Oh, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person as he sings most jovially. <laughs> Who me you ask about? Uh, I am called Flavio. Flavio is, uh, I'm how to say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. That's the entrepreneur, Flavio. He's like super rich and he owns lots of ships. What's he doing in here so early in the day though? Think he's doing okay? Okay, I'm gonna try and unplug my pro controller. It's gonna get a, get a bit uncomfortable being on the wire. Did you take a hit, pal? I mean, scram. Don't talk to me. That guy practically lives here. He must like it, huh? He's like the ultimate regular. As far as I can tell, he's recounting the tales of every love of his life, one by one. Is he Podley's best customer? He might be. Oh, well, let's hit Flavio. Bonk. Yeah. Oh, wait, I, I wanted to tattle him. That guy's bomb, Sailor. I think he comes here every time his shit makes port. I don't blame him. This place has a cool atmosphere. I'd be a regular, too. Alright, let's talk to Podley. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go on up and relax. Also, I'm trying to make sure um, I got my voice changer to work. Oh. Okay, real quick, I want to test out my noise, uh, my noise, my voice mod. Hello, how does this sound? Does, does this sound good? Okay, that's all I wanted to test. Okay, yeah, I, I, I got, I got, I downloaded voice mod again, by the way, and I was kind of fucking around with it. I might mess around with it, honestly, because it's pretty fun. <laughs> this is Rogue Park's main square. It's sort of the central shopping area, I guess. There are lots of regular working folk here, but there are also ne'er-do-wells. 
If you venture into the back alleys, be ready to deal with some nasty sorts. While well, a ne'er duels. Goombario says that in the first game as well. It's pretty funny. Oh, where in the world could have princess gone up to? This is quite troubling indeed. That's Toadsworth, steward of Princess Peach's castle. He's an active senior. He's been really worried since Princess Peach went missing. I hope we can mellow him out. Also, I love I love the word steward. It's great. Also, this toad? She's so cute. Look at her. Welcome to the lone refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. Care to rest? It's five coins. You look like you're already fully rested. Do you want a bed anyway? Yeah. Enjoy your stay. How can you tell I'm fully rested? So the music, dude. The music's so good. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. That woman runs the inn. She's sweet and helpful, unlike most rogue quarters. If your HP and FP get too low, come here to get them restored with a night of rest. Bonk. <laughs> also, this is really funny. Hey, hey, let me in! Sorry, we're closed. We'll reopen at 11 a.m. today. Mario tries to fucking break into this house. It's amazing. Also, let me get this star piece. Yes, I know every single star piece by heart. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Then again, I'm sure a lot of the people playing this will probably know that as well. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's up with your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. That guy, that guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. So, that's a huge change from the original. Normally, Goombella says, like, hey, your money got stolen. But in this game, she doesn't, in the remake, she doesn't tell you. But it, it, like, makes a little coin sound. And, like, it drops your coin in half as he hits you. It's a bit, honestly, I like that better. Because it makes more sense for the coins to lower as he runs into you. That's a bandit who made this place his hideout. Seems like he totally loves this place, but would it kill him to clean up a bit? Oops. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine. Okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Thank you. Look at how smug this asshole is. It's amazing. Let me give you a news flash. Even the innocent looking people in town are thieves. So don't come grumbling to me about losing little pocket change, okay, buddy? I love everybody in this fucking town. Like, despite Rogueport being full of, like, assholes and, like, robbers and shit, they have so much personality that I don't care. Also, I pointed out in my playthrough, my, my first uh, session that kind of failed, they got rid of the little, like, wall here. There's a, there used to be a wall here, but it's gone now. Not sure why they did that, but yeah. Anyways, we gotta say hi to Eastport Rogueport now. This is Rogueport's east side. It's considered dangerous here, even for Rogueport. This is Ishnail's turf. He's the leader of a band of thieves called the Rabos. Then again, you can also fight Merlin here. He can help your partners level up. Still, it's definitely too rough a place for a non-ruffian like me to walk alone. Anyways, let's go say hi to Larson and Darkly. That's Larson the bandit. The world's out on his scam, so he's laying low here. Of course, he wouldn't have to lay low anywhere if he just kept his nose clean. You think maybe he'd just get a thrill breaking the law or what? Heh, heh, heh. Oh, another card trick today, making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll bunk you. The, l the, longer, I the longer I live, the more I realize how accurate this guy is to actual, like, credit card scammers in real life. Hold on, I want to break this bug. Die. Die. Okay, fuck you, whatever. Hey, my name's Darkly. I like dim places. And I'm done talking for now. That's Darkly. He loves the dark. He just stays here in the shadows all day long. Sounds kind of creepy to me, but hey, whatever powers you up, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just gonna get that star piece. I could have sworn there was a star piece behind this. But, you know what, I might be making that up, honestly. Yeah, I got the bug. 
That is already an amazing addition, being able to kill the bugs. Hey, you big old rube. Ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go wild and attack. Be careful, live longer. That's Goomfrey the Goomba. He looks kind of shady, I guess, but he's cool. People call him a fixer. You know, a guy that can make any problem just go away. Also, I did- I am gonna fight Gus, but I'm gonna probably wait till I get Power Smash. But I'll talk to him for now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up now! You're an outsider! Past this point, it's a turf of Vishnail, head of the Robos. You know, ten, it's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you good. I'm leaving. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. Alright, I'll pay him. One, two, three. Yep, there's ten coins, alright. You can pass. Also, um, this door is locked. This is East Joke, boy. This is the turf of Ishne and this crew of Rabos. These sides all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. That's Swindle the Bandit. At least I hear he's a thief, but I've never seen him steal. He's always whispering to Arthur about something. Speaking of Arthur, let's talk to him. That trouble center is the only place on the east side that other townsfolk come to. If the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. That's Arthur. He's always hanging around here. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently he lives by some super stern moral code. Also, sadly, we can't do lock jump anymore. It's too bad. Oh yeah, Gumil also says something with the lock. That's a locked door. You can open it with a key. Also, I'm gonna. Also, we gotta check this out. Whoop. <laughs> That feels a re that feels really floaty compared to the original, which they probably did that on purpose because um, in hazard respawn glitches isn't a thing anymore. That's Gus. He's part of that band of thieves who call themselves the Robos. He looks like a total maniac, but he's actually a nice guy. Don't judge books by covers. Also, let's go say hello to Merlin, my man. To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. That's Merlin. He's this odd old man who says really bizarre things sometimes. He helps power up all your allies here. For three shine sprites, he raises a partner one rank. Welcome to the home of Merlin. Ah, uh, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like to power up? So you pay me three Shine Sprites to power up Gumbella. Ah, uh, you don't have enough Shine Sprites. Be gone, come back when you have three. Return someday. I could have sworn, I, 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 I swear to god, I feel like Merlin... I swear he's way nicer in this version. <laughs> I love that you can hit. Can I hit the, uh... Oh. Oh, no, no, not what I meant to do. Yeah, I was gonna tattle this. Oh, okay, it's, it still says it's Merlin. I love what- I love the light- the lighting in this game is honestly so amazing. Alright, let's listen to frickin' Frankly's theme. Oh, hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. Who's, uh, who's there? Who wants me? Oh, yes, you. Uh, now you, uh... Wait for it, just a moment. They gave Frankly Steve fucking kazoos. <laughs> it's amazing. I swear they made Frankly Steve sound weirder than it did in, it did in the original. Just a moment, don't tell me now. Silence, I'll get it right. Also, shoutouts to Dorian for doing an amazing job on Frankly in our uh, Book of Mario playthrough. Uh, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. Uh, 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 oh, I got it. Yeah, you're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yeah, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, Junior, you Goom. Go Goombas. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out of my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... 
Who? Mario, Professor. He's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. <laughs> look at this. Look at how, like, he's like, oh, God. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two to a place like this? They're hoping you tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew about anything about it, you would, Professor. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that new very subject. But why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say is a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search the for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. Among us. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. I love that little twinkle sound. The crystal stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. That's how the old saying goes. With a rhyme that's solid, it must be true. Also, yeah, one big change is that they made Frankly say that, not Goombella. Which, I don't know, I feel like, frankly, saying it makes more sense than Goombella, but yeah. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must find the collect, cut the crystal stars. The seven of them, yeah. Oh, hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the tr entrance to the thousand-year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday? Is that referring to the crystal stars you mentioned? It must be. And we're in luck. It seems the Thousand Year Door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. <gasps> really? You? You actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Kid. Ah, astounding. This is it, the real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand year door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Gubella, Mario. Let's take the magical map to the thousand year door. Off we must go, this instant. I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. Yeet. The friends are waiting for us outside, let's go. Okay. I just wanna check if there's anything, um... Anything I can, like, interact with inside his house. Oh, well, there is a little painting of him up there. Oh, and I'm glad they, uh... They kept the little... Like, Easter egg of the sun, moon, and puny star thing in the top right. Here's the trash. The garbage pail is empty. I mean, you didn't know this rotten old thing came up, did you? <laughs> Honestly, my only little complaint so far is maybe the slightly weaker sound design of the game. But honestly, I don't really mind too much. We can use this pipe to get down onto the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you like to like to practice action commands before we descend? They're the basics of battle, after all. See, now normally I would say no, but because I want to see how they handle the tutorials in this game, I'm going to say yes. Good call. In that case, let's have a little practice session. I mean, we get to hear the tutorial music. Gabella, you could be Mario's opponent. What, me? Are you serious? Oh, gee, uh, okay, I'll do my best, I guess. I love this music. 
First we'll practice that jump command. That okay with the both of you? Choose the jump command when, when you then choose which enemy you'll attack. Mario's ready to throw hands. When you choose a command, the action command details will be shown at the bottom of the screen. For the action command jump, press A at the exact moment you jump on an enemy. Give it a go. Oh, I, didn't, I don't think you can get the stylishes in this fight. Well, well, you got a nice rating. The action command was a success. Succeeding at action commands will increase the damage you deal to your opponents, or do other good stuff. Now it's your turn to attack, Goombella. Shake a leg. Get ready, Mario. Press A just before your enemy strikes you. Okay, here goes, Mario. Perfect! Oh, well done. You pulled off a guard action command. That'll decrease the damage you receive from attacks. So one thing I find interesting is they have a little zero damage star. That's not in the original. In the original, it's just a little tiny star that notes you did no damage. Honestly, I kind of prefer the original, but that's just me. Just mashing A won't be enough. Success requires timing. Ash commands change depending on the attack. Best to stay on your toes, eh? Anyway, let's practice the hammer ash command. After you select hammer, choose who you want to attack. Which doesn't matter because you can't really choose who you attack with a hammer anyway. <laughs> Once you get close to your opponent, tilt left stick to the left. Then release left stick at the same time you see star flash. Perfect! Stop there. How did that feel, Mario? Got a good grasp on how Ash commands now? Excellent! Now for a real treat, I'll teach you a really incredible technique. This time, press B at the exact moment the enemy lands. Goombella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Oh, I actually fucked up. Too soon. Oops, you failed the super guard. I actually got the super guard in my original playthrough. Try to press B with even tighter timing than guard. Try to attack Mario once more. You got it, Professor. There we go. Youch. See, you turned the foe's attack back on him. I mean, huh. That's a super guard. I'm actually kind of glad that they don't hold your hand as much in this tutorial. Like, you actually have to nail the super guard yourself. You can't just, um... You can't just... They, they don't, like, pause it and then you press the button. If you do a super guard with a B, you take no damage, and damage your enemy in return. Okay, so I'm gonna real quick talk about something. When, um, when this game came out, or when this game got revealed, people were s saying how, like, why are the- why- why is the button red, right? And I put it together, like, maybe a few weeks, um, after they talked about that, that the buttons are actually colored based off of the Super Famicom controller. Because in the because the SFC buttons, the A is red, the B is yellow, and the X is blue, and the Y is green, which I think is really a really cool detail. They didn't need to do, but I love it. But super guards are harder to do than standard A guards. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes action commands 101. <laughs> Sorry, professorial humor. How'd that go over? Would you like to practice your action commands more? And we'll stop. I expected nothing less, Mario. You're a quick learner. You're already a pro, I'm sure. Well, I do believe now we're all set for our quest. Hmm? Down below we go. Hop onto the pipe and press A to enter it. Okay, but real quick. Let's use the pipe in front of the professor's house to get down underneath the town. Real quick, I'm gonna save. Now, when I got into the sewers, my game fucked up for some reason. It wasn't loading in the map correctly. So, hopefully it works this time. And also, I find it interesting. You don't go down the pipe anymore. You have to actually press A on top of the pipe to enter it. Kind of interesting. Oh, finally, I can actually see... The rogue port sewers it looks so amazing though look at this okay so from here on out this is all new and i also i love the sewers theme i got to hear it while i was fucking around with the game or right down below rogue port the current town was built on top of this ancient one pretty surprising to find all this down here right kind of blows my mind the ruins here are all crumbly and gnarly now but it was once a great town really that in your door must be nearby. Let's keep moving. Let's go over here real quick, though. 
I love that it just sounds like the original, but with more instruments on top of it. It's fucking amazing. In my opinion, those are the best kinds of instru- uh, Those are the best kinds of remixes. The ones that just take the original instruments and adds more shit on top of it. Anyways, let's go say hi to, um, Mer Lovely. That's the fortune teller, Mer Lovely. She's kind of mysterious, as you'd expect. She defines the locations of things on where we should go. People say she's always right. And people say all kinds of secrets are hiding under her veil. So I guess the veil is working as intended. What if I talk to her behind the counter? Ah, oh, welcome, Mario. If you wish for me to use my divining skills to ask what you seek, speak to me from across the table. Ah, welcome, Mario. I am her lovely, the lovely fortune teller. See seeing with my amazing abilities that what you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha. So, shall I see something for you? So you can do my next path for two coins. Oh, it's actually two instead of five. Star piece, you shine, surprise, and I'm good. Oh, your next path. I understand. I should look for what you seek. I need to see this animation. Focus, focus, focus. Ooh. Dude, listen to this. Kada, kabra, da abra, hala baloo. Paka, puka, pika, boo. Ah, ah, stars, show me what I seek. Oh, that was like, so amazing. Dude, the sound design on that is so fucking amazing compared to the original, holy shit. Dude, I'm gonna need this fucking ambience. Sounds amazing. I see our destined path. You, you defeat three Goombas underneath Rogueport, then the way opens. Ha! Huh. Shall I see anything else for you? Actually, am I missing any star pieces? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but I can't get a clear vision of any star pieces at the moment. Please return to me later. Ha! Uh -huh. Shall I see anything else for you? Ah, uh -huh, is that so? Well, if there's anything else you want to find, just ask. You can always review the things I've already revealed from the notes section of the menu. That was fucking amazing. I'm so glad I talked to her lovely. Hey, hey, what's up? You think you could just waltz your way into uh, underground? Typical. You surface level snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I got to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Ooh. So this is our first bird bit of censorship, sadly. Yeah, hey, yeah. Come on in here, scuffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace? If this is your usual green to visitors, then you must have learned it down here, because it stinks. Ouch, that was cold. What, you gonna, what are you gonna do? Too good for a fight? If you ain't looking for a tussle, then stay out of the sewer. Nobody does start fighting with us. Nobody. Let's get him. Yeah, the music, dude. Let's hear it. Can't flee this fight. They're about to throw hands. With no hands. A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that, you'll the one be taking damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. You get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack method. And be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking and blocking. Now go get him. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Kubella. Don't forget that. I'll just be over here watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance, but good luck. Alright, well, first things first, we're gonna tattle. Tattle the goop, the gumba. Yeah, perfect! That's a Goomba. Uh, yeah, I'm one of those in case you hadn't noticed. It says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. No standout features to note. Ooh, listen to this new part of the song. 
Holy shit, dude. That little extra part goes so far. No standout features to note. That's totally rude. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. All right. Let's try to get my stylishes. Yeah. Too late. Too late. Am I supposed to? Am I not supposed to super guard them? All right, spiky Goomba. That is so slow, I swear to God. <laughs> That's a spiky Goomba, a spiky headed Goomba. What a grave name. Guess that spike help helps boost his attack power compared to the average Goomba. The addition of the spike means you'll hit your feet if you jump on it, duh. Yeah, get those dial points up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, paddle the Paragoomba. I can't wait to get on Simple Fire and make this game harder. That's a Paragoomba. Basically, it's a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. Yeah! Oh, the fucking victory jingle! Oh, oi! Oh, they give you money, too. That's new. Ha, <laughs> later, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty of to play more where they came from, and they all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you're into battle. So when any catch a sight of you, be sure to thump them as soon as you go into battle. The floor is moving. How are you supposed to get that pipe ahead out of here? Hmm. We're down below Rogueport. Oh yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just making sure. Because I know it- I, I swear to god on the original, she can say something about the plane, but I don't know. Also, I love the little light coming from those houses in the background. That's such a cool detail. Alright, this is brand new to me. I can't wait to see what the rest of the sewers looks like. Sub-level 2. They even gave them little names, dude. That's so cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to check out the menu. Goombella is a smart, if sassy, Goomba girl. She hopes to be an archaeologist one day. Press X to ask her about where you are or about enemies you meet in battle. She attacks with head bonks. And head bonk are both 0 FP. Tag enemies with head bonk, view enemies description, see their HP in battle. You don't start the game with the mailbox SP though, that's kind of interesting. Um, oh, we got the tattle log now. The underling of underlings, no other interesting distinguishing characteristics. Oh, you don't have to open them anymore. Because they, they have enough screen space to fit everything in. A Goomba with wings can't reach it with a hammer while it's in the air, but if you jump on it or swish it down, its wings get clipped. It's kind of sad, really. A Goomba that wears a spiked helmet. Slightly higher attack power than a typical Goomba. Notes? What's that? View requests. You haven't had your fortune told. Oh, if you if you go to Mer Lovely, she'll actually tell you where to go? Interesting. Star pieces and shine sprites. Oh, wait, I gotta... You know what? I'm gonna talk to Mer Lovely again, then. I need to see that in action. See, now, I don't know how often I'm going to be talking to Mer Lovely, because in order to use her services, you have to go all the way back to her. I mean, plus I want to see this awesome animation again. I'm, actually, I'm going to... Hold on, I'm going to message Zach about this. All right, let's see where we go. The sound design in this is way better. Oh, you can also skip it too if you want. That's very nice, that's a very nice feature. I see your destined path. The platform moves in the sewers near where you beat the three angry Goombas. You enter the pipe beyond it. It takes you to a different room. 
with another pipe at the end. You enter that pipe as well. You step on a switch at the back of the next room. Then the way opens. I mean, the right- I, I mean, I gotta- wait. You can always review the things I've already revealed from the notes section of the menu. Oh, that- that is helpful. Let me see how that works. So it just puts Merlovely's fucking, like, fortunes in the- in the journal. That's amazing. Also, there's a brightness feature if you really want to use that. I could lower it a bit. I don't think Zack knew about Mer how sick Mer Lovely is in this game. I mean, yes, I already know where to go, but I, I never really made use of Mer Lovely's fortunes, and I think now is the perfect time to take advantage of them in the remake. You struck first! Oh wait, they actually put more than one enemy in these loadouts now. Okay, real quick. Oh, you can ta check the tattles? Holy shit, that's awesome! You can do- you can just recheck the tattles so you don't have to tattle them again. Okay, let's see if I can get- let's see if I remember Goombella is stylish. Uh, I think I did it a little too early. Okay, the end of battles are a little slower now, that's a little unfortunate. I can't skip the end of battles. Yeah, they uh, they made these loadouts a bit more diverse, I noticed already. Because in the original, it used to just be one Goomba. It'll be like the only battles you can do in one turn. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, look at the question mark blocks. Get bonged, bitch. Alright, let's see if I can get the stylish this time. There we go, I got it. I do remember it. Okay, actually, no, the, 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 the end of battle isn't that slow. Maybe it was just that first one. Fire flower, yay. Also, probably the saddest thing. You can't get through here unless you have Flurry now, so they blocked that off. Kind of a shame, really. Oh yeah, let me tattle this area. We're down below Rome Court. I think this is your basic garden variety corridor. This must have been a nice walk when the whole town was above ground. Yeah, you damn well gonna be checking, like, every little thing. Oh, hey, look, it's Punio! Wait, Goombella can tattle that block? Who knew the area on the road port extended so far? This place is a total maze. Is there a dynamic music in the sewers? You really feel the grandness of the ancient civilization when you're down here. There's a big yellow block. It looks too sturdy to break with your current hammer. But if you find a more powerful hammer, then look out, block. Oh, we get to see the spin yet. Hold on, we get pretty lucky first. You got a pretty lucky badge. Technically, this is the first badge you get to equip. Let's put it on, just for shits and giggles. Spinia is looking a little different, honestly. Oops. Let's tattle them anyway. The Spinia is looking really weird. I don't like it. <laughs> That's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee -yah. All right, well, you gotta go, Spinia. 
Ooh. That's a bit weird. Oh man. Their, their sounds just don't hit the same. Yeah, the spinnies kind of look a little weird in the remake, I'll admit. <laughs> Got star points. Love the music though, it's so good. Alright, let's see if I can get the Spinia Super Guard. Gotcha, bitch. Hell yeah. That's just a normal switch. Stomp on it or whack it to flip the switch. The switches look the switches look really nice actually. Ooh, fancy. That looks really that actually looks pretty smooth compared to the original. Having a door must be nearby. Let's keep moving forward. Got a black key, a strange black key. So is my notes- are, are my notes gone now, by the way? You haven't had your four- yeah. Once you get past a certain point, the fortune goes away. How's this room gonna look? Ooh, this room looks really spooky. There's a black chest in the middle of the room, you know, in case you missed it. And, um, yeah, there's just not much else, really. There's a black chest, I wonder what's inside it. That black chest treasure chest thing is mysterious. Can we check it out? Hey you, can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, blocking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been in here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, we're with you. I'm not sure we can exactly confident we can trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said out loud, what's wrong with me? Ah! Oh yeah? Searching for the Crystal Stars, are you? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely not gonna need my- You're definitely gonna need my help if you want to get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this chest, then use it to let me out. Definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about the Crystal Stars. What do you think we ought to do? Hmm. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Ding ding. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, old great legendary hero. Well, what? You already found the key? Oh man, I owe you big. Oh, you can just, uh, you just give it to him. Nice. Yes, thank. Ha! Thank nothing. <laughs> Fools. Ooh, the guitar riff. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but these are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Wow, they made this theme sound awesome. <laughs> the guitar is going crazy. Ugly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Oh! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. <laughs> Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. 
<laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I needed to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. I'll try pressing Y and then BAM, you're a paper airplane. You'll control your tiny paper plane self by tilting left stick forward and back. The plane will rise if you tilt in the direction behind you. However, if you keep tilting too much, you'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting left stick. Timing's key. Try it now and suffer total aerodynamic humiliation. It's not working. Okay, there we go. <laughs> when you had enough airplane shame, press B to the D plane and get back to normal. So to be honest, do you fully understand the peril this curse bestowed upon you? Yes, I get it. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> Woo, 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 woo. So, uh, wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? That yeah, beef. This is a black chest. It doesn't seem like it has anything else to say. Looks like there's nothing else here. Let's keep going. Well, that was awesome. I love that. Ooh, it, look at how it lights up. That's so cool. Okay, I guess to be fair, they did have to, um... Like, they did have to probably redo a bunch of the sound effects, because they were probably, like, super low quality by this point. Didn't you just learn how to be an airplane? You might be able to use that. Oh, yeah, I wonder. Alright, here we go, guys. The thousand-year door. <gasps> Ooh, this music. Oh, Mario Gabella, look at that! Now that looks fucking amazing. Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. So legends are all true. Come, let's move a little closer. So that's the thousand year door. There's probably a place where you're supposed to hold the map up. This is the site of the famed thousand year door. The air ripples with power. I read this is was where the palace at the center of this ancient town was. Just a little fun fact there. Just gonna listen to this music really quick. Oh yeah, by the way, they got rid of the save block here. Which is really weird. I don't know why they did that. Oh! Ooh, sounds amazing. Professor, what's going on? Oh, no! Oh, that looks amazing. Whoa, look at that. Now that looks amazing. Dude, that's the original sprite. That was the original sprite from the game. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario's learned a special move. Now you can use Sweet Treat. Yes. Professor, the map. And what was all those strange lights? Uh, this looks like information related to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light. It looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. 
Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Hmm, uh -huh, I see. Oh, yeah, the kazoos. You understand it, right, Professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is... The map is truly astounding! Somehow this map contains radar luck functions. It's showing us the locations of the crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star can be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Mm hmm? Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad sus. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody else know how to get there, or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map anyway? Oh, whoa, what was that fucking expression? That was weird. <laughs> From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach? This wouldn't be her, would it? Oh god, front-facing Peach is cursed. Oh yeah. oh, yeah! So it is her! Hey, yo, what is this music? This is some good-ass music. I'm loving all the new songs they made. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to the Petal Meadows on her own. Oh, no! You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Up the Petal Meadows you go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Here's your map, I guess. Whatever. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that sus gang. Besides, I doubt an old shilled goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happened and you need advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Maybe your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Oh, I, I love this little bit of time where he follows you. It's like for one second. Ah, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario, you can now use you can now perform what's known as a special move. Hmm? A special move? Yes, it well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Yeah, let's do it. Excellent, in that case, let's give your special move a little test run. Yay, tutorial music again, I love it. First, let's take a look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power with me so far. When you have one star power available, you can use a special move. Try using that sweet treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Alright, let's use it. Sweet treat. Restores Mario and his partner's HP and FP. Okay, how is this gonna work in this version? Listen to this music, it's great. Alright. Ooh, it is really trippy. Are there no poison shrooms in the demo version? Oh, there are. They are. They're still there. Okay. Whoop. Since you use one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. 
That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. The Toads! The best audience. If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean, Mario. Goombella, try to attack me, please. Yeah, attack Goom Go uh, Professor Frankly. Nice, see that? You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. It was great to do the, the stylishes, though. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of the members of the audience. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. Hope you memorized all this. Well, that's all I got. Here ends my scintillating lecture on special moves. Fine work, Mario! Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Power smash! Beautiful. Powerfully smash a foe. It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? Yes, please. Alright, press and open the menu. Press that R and open the badge menu. Equipping badges requires 1 BP. Press A to equip it. He used BP and equipped the badge. Press A again to remove the badge, your P will return to normal. By the way, you need flower points FP to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that to hike the Petal Meadows. Woo! Okay. Actually, I kind of want to see that unique dialogue about Goombella, where she's like, Oh, you forgot to equip the badge! Also, let's go check out the badge shop. I'm pretty sure the badge shop is open now. Oh my god, I just noticed. Look at the reflections on the wall. That's amazing. The bad shop should be open now. Yep, it is. Let's go. Oh yeah, you can buy the GameCube the GameCube music. Change the background music to the original GameCube track. A big welcome to you. Yes, welcome to the lovely house of badges. You guys are so welcome here. Now I know a new customer when I see one, so let me give my usual rundown on how a shop works. We have a special curated section of recommended badges up here on the counter. If you're looking for something more niche, check in the cargo box on the right side of the shop. The covers on the the covers are the basics for using our shop. You want me to slay it all from the top again? No. Okay, moving right along. You need zero PP to wear this installed tunes badge. It's only one coin. Interested? Thank you very much. Look how happy he is. Oh. I gotta buy on Simple Fire. I can't buy Simple Fire, fuck. So all the badge prices are changed, I'm pretty sure. We're obviously buying Last Stand. Last Stand is goaded. Thank you very much. Here's the other badges. Simple Fire's 100. Was it always 100? I couldn't sworn they used to be 50. Am I crazy? Yeah, they definitely changed all the badge prices, because I don't remember them being that much. Big hey, welcome to you, welcome to the lovely house of badges, so what can I do for you? Um, so this bad shop, we have a spec- oh, okay, he- he just repeats what he said. Okay. So you can sell. I'm selling. Sell the pretty lucky. Nah. Anything else I can help with? Nope. Come again. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. That's the badge manager at the lovely house of badges. For a manager, she sure has gone from the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? This shop's small, but it's totally adorable. She really knows how to decorate. That's the badge clerk that works part-time here at the lovely house of badges. Sounds like he really wants to open his own badge shop someday. Yeah, I think he's using this job to learn the business. Talk about motivation. I never realized- I never realized that she was the owner and not him. I always thought this guy was the owner. But, I guess not. Holy shit, I just noticed something. 
That's some amazing foreshadowing. She has a different- she has a different hurt sprite from him. Some good foreshadowing, actually. I, I would have not have noticed that, but I did. Alright, I think now we can fight Gus. Oh yeah, I forgot about that fucking guy. We'll talk to him in a sec. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Mini boss music again. He's ready to throw hands. Oh fuck, I didn't put on power smash. Hold up. <laughs> I think he has unique dialogue if you run away anyway. Hey, Lenny Nelson, prediction, you'll never fight your way through here again. I think he just had a triple helping of humble pie, so I'll let this slide. Now take off. I forgot to put on the fucking badge. I'm stupid. <laughs> Oh, there's the music! Okay, let's listen to the original music real quick. I can take you. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna probably do what I did in Mario RPG Remake, where I'm gonna occasionally have the nostalgic music on. Yeah. I'm gonna occasionally do that, because I like it. Yeah! Let's go. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. All in all, he's pretty tough. And I'm sure it's super obvious, but that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Yes, super guarded bitch. I try I'm trying to get that last stylish. Oh, I'm fucking it up. Alright, go sleepy sheep. They're 3D! Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has high susceptibility to sleep anyways. Oh, he didn't wake up from that. Okay. He's a honey syrup then. Woo! I mean, I definitely miss the little, like, flower sounds when you heal, but I guess that's... can't be helped. There we go. I got it. I just feel as flashy though, honestly. Alright, uh, power smash time. Yeah, I'm doing it too early, that's why. Let's appeal. Ooh, nice sound. Whoosh. I do feel like the super guards are easier though. Yay, we did it! Yay! Pride, you dumb video game characters always pull this stuff off. It's ridiculous. You think the island solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? Bye! Okay. I, like I said, I will be putting it on occasionally. But, I do like it. Hey, deckhead, you got a minute to run what it means to fight? Right, to fight with your whole heart. Oh! So this guy is brand new. This guy, they showed this guy off in some of the trailers, and people wondered who the fuck he was, but we'll see more about him. I can see you're brimming with a potential, kid, but there's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish moves, hitting it big, there's a whole wrist. Feel free to hit me up if you got a question, friendo. Who am I? There's some who call me the Battle Master, and I don't stop him, but I could with fighting. Anywho, I got a great rough traveling training. Uh, th some th thing. 
If you see him around, give me a holler. Like right now. Hey, Kelly, you're someone from the old Battle Master? Um, tell me the secrets of battle. Mm. Oh, he tells you everything. Holy shit. There's a lot of stuff to go through here. Okay, you know what? We'll go through a few at a time. Every time you earn 100 star points, you gain a revel, Mario. And when you revel up, you'll get all your HP, FP, and star power back. On top of that, you also get to raise the max number of HP, your FP, or your badge points. Just pick one. HP stands for heart points. When it gets to zero, you've gotten yourself KO'd, Mario. On top of the other hand, when you drop the enemy's HP to zero, they get to take a little nap. Oh yeah, when your partner's HP gets to zero, they're out for the count, but they'll be back up after the fight. But if you hit zero, it's game over, so keep your eyes open, Mario. When your HP's low. When your HP- when you or your partner have raw HP and you're about to ruse, you see two kinds of warning signs. If your HP holds to five or raw, you see danger pop up. If your HP gets to one, you see power instead. And if Mario lets his HP reach zero, it'll be game over, so take these icons seriously. <laughs> Some badges are only effective when you're in danger or peril, so use them wisely. Got it, Mario? Alright, I'll read more of them later. Practice- you can practice act commands too, that's really nice. Okay, gotcha. If so, give me some time to figure out food food no secrets and come back whenever. It was Zach's idea to give me that to give him that voice. So glad that the, the road port sewers is actually working correctly now. All right, we can talk to Dazzle finally. Let's go. My name's Dazzle. And I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. What is he doing? So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yeah! Which badge do you want to trade for? Um... Did any of these change, I wonder? Item hog... Flower saver and power plus. Obviously, I'm gonna want to save up for power plus. And maybe, maybe flower saver as well. Peekaboo, I might not go for. Are any of these BP prices changed? Chill out is one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is one in this game. We could get Flower Finder early. <laughs> okay. What? You don't your mind? Oh, come on. <laughs> Doesn't he say, like, so lame or whatever in the original? That's Dazzle, the Star Piece Collector. He'll trade you badges for Star Pieces. Once you collect a few star pieces, you can definitely come talk to him. Hey, but why do you think he collects them anyway? Do you think he bays in them? <laughs> they even made Dazzle more expressive. That's amazing. Never would have never would have guessed that would be the case. Oh yeah, there's a, isn't there a Gumba down here? Fuck, I messed up. <laughs> Oh, I need to heal my FP again. Shite. Should probably go sleep at the end, to be honest. Oops. That was too late. Oh, it feels so good playing the remake. Yeah, I need to go heal first. Uh, yeah, so give me a little bit. Maybe you need to turn into a plane to find the pipe that connects to Pebble Meadows? Actually, this guy has a tattle, doesn't he? That's the Battle Master. He's a master of battling. Let me know if I'm going too fast here. He'll teach you the secrets of battling and help you practice tricky Ash commands. So if you're having trouble mastering any aspect of battle, just ask the Battle Master. I mean, obviously. <laughs> they made new Goombella dialogue in 2024, guys. Alright. I don't mind going to the end, honestly. Eventually, I might forget about paddling some stuff. 
much the same. Hmm. I'm fucking broke. Oh no. I can't believe it. <laughs> I actually don't have enough moon knee. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I guess um guess we're using uh I guess we're using a honey syrup instead. Wow. I actually didn't have enough money for the end. That's fucking crazy. Let's head back beneath the rope port. There should be a pipe underground that connects with Paddle Meadows. Also, let's talk to Frankly. If you, if you want to get to Paddle Meadows, look for the pipe beneath town. That's Professor Frankly, head of the archaeology department of Yu Goom. He's researching the legendary treasure here. I totally respect him. You know the famous Professor Colorado? He was a student of Professor Frankly's. Oh my god, Colorado reference! Let's fucking go! Also, is the Trouble Center open yet? Oh, the Trouble Center's not open yet, still. I'm out of the office, please come again. I don't think that opens until after Chapter 1. I'll be sure to check that out later. Can't wait to... I can't wait to get Bobbery so I can unlock Chet Rippo and finally get Danger Strats. Oh. Not what I meant to do, but okay. Woo! Okay, um... Let's see what Gumbella has to say here. You did that thing move? You could test it by jumping on it, but it's kind of slimy and gross, so maybe just use your hammer? Looks like some seawater has found its way in here, huh? Yeah, it's a health hazard. I bet some weird thing lives in here too, so try not to fall in the water, okay? Hmm, seems to be almost inviting us to do something, doesn't it? But what? <laughs> blue, 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 I always not hurt. Kind of boring. Oh! Da -da -da. Who just wax? Who just who just up and wax someone's tussies like that? Ooh, somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. No, 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 no. Will you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. No, 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 no. He's in a world of hurt. <laughs> look at him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey, Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Can't flee this fight. Alright, well, first off, we're gonna fire a flower. Yeah. Yeah, take that, blooper. Alright, let's tattle him. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S. -S. Gross. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once he damages both his tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and make seafood out of that slimy, nasty blooper. Well, it's down for an extra turn, so... Let's see. I'm gonna- I'm gonna let him attack, so we can see what he does. Yeah, let me, uh... Hello! Ow. I love the ink effect, though. That is really cool. Alright, anyways, uh... Goodbye, blooper. Oh! Do they have like a fucking finishing move? 
clear bonus. That's a thing now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get money for beating bosses now. That's pretty cool. There should be a pipe somewhere in the ground that could take us to Petal Meadows. Ooh, look at the grass here. That's really cool. Alright, let's go, I guess.